One of the questions I get asked a lot is how to make a playlist using QLab. The process is actually pretty simple, so I thought I would just walk you through it really quickly. Now over on the side here I've created a quick folder that's got four songs in it I would like to use to make a playlist. So what I'm going to do is select each of them. If I click on the first one, hold down the shift button and click the last, it'll grab all four, and then pull them straight into my workspace. So as you can see, we've got four songs now, each of them inputted as an individual audio cue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on my group cue here. And that will organize each of those four songs into this group cue. Very quickly, I'm just going to name this playlist. And for each of these individual songs, I'm going to set them to an auto follow status. And what will happen is after we finish playing each one, the next one will automatically go ahead and start for me. And there's your playlist. Now let's say you're doing a show where you have a large number of songs and you don't know how much time you need to fill. One of the things that you can do is insert a start cue at the end of your cue list and go ahead and target the first cue. So what will happen is once it's played through the sequence of cues here, it will go ahead and activate the start cue, which will then restart your cue sequence. And these will keep playing until you want them to stop. So in order to stop them, what I'm going to do is insert a fade cue and target that fade cue um, for my playlist, set my levels to be negative infinity, like so, and click stop target when done. And then that will allow me to go ahead and stop playback of my playlist whenever I'm ready. As you can see, the process is pretty simple. You can pick up copies of my QLab or dance production book at any bookseller. And if you find this video useful, stop on by my YouTube channel to get more like it.